Hi boys and girls, let's have some fun and draw together today. Maybe even your parents would like to join in. Anyone in your household is really welcome. Today's project is recommended for fifth graders. Today we will be drawing a project inspired by Vincent van Gogh, or I believe the correct pronunciation is Vincent van Gogh. Um, we are drawing a painting or a picture of a palm tree with a cityscape in it. But wait, what makes it look similar to Vincent, one of his pictures, is Starry Starry Night. We're going to try to emulate the background so that it looks like Starry Starry Night. Um, I'll, most of my books are at school, boys and girls, but I did find this at home to kind of show what I'm talking about that I would like for you to be able to achieve with the Starry Starry Night. Remember, he didn't really blend. He did lots of little strokes to make his picture appear and give lots of movement to it. So after we draw it, we'll talk more about how I'd love for you to be able to draw it in. Um, again, I'm so sorry, that's the only example I have. But if your parents allow you, maybe you can go on the internet and look at his picture, Starry Starry Night, Vincent van Gogh. Um, so today we're going to start with our drawing. Before we start with our drawing, we're going to do our shapes. Let's start with our shapes. I'm going to use a marker so you can see better. Remember to hold on to your paper with one hand, draw with the other hand. The first shape is a circle. Anywhere on your paper, you can use a scrap piece of paper also. Next shape is a dot. It's a circle, but we color it all the way in, so we call it a dot. The next, do you remember the name of this line? Very good, boys and girls. Horizontal. Can we all say that together? Horizontal line. Next line, you remember that one? Vertical. Very good. Vertical line. Very good. We have one more line. Remember the name of that one? Diagonal. Very good, boys and girls. Let's say it together. Diagonal line. Okay. Then we have our half circles. A U. An upside down U. Looks like a rainbow. A C and a backward C. All of these are half circles. So if we put them together, it would make a full circle. Then we have our angled lines, which are our V's. A regular V, an upside down V, which looks like an A without the crossbar, a sideways V, and another sideways V. Very good. Then we have a slightly curved line. Remember, it is not as, as curved as our upside down U or rainbow. It's not as straight as our straight line. That's why we call it a slightly curved line. Then we have our lazy S. Our lazy S laying down, or horizontally, we call a hill and a valley. And then we've been doing spirals lately, which is just fun. So remember, you start in the middle. It looks like you're going to do a circle, but you go past that point and just keep going around. And remember, they make wonderful snails. That's why they're fun. All right, All right so those are our shapes. Remember, we're going to do them before every project because it just makes it easier for us to draw. Great job of doing your shapes today, boys and girls. Now we'll get started on our drawing today. Now it's up to you whether you want your paper vertically or horizontally. If you want it to look like mine, um, you probably will want it horizontally. Um, remember I said we're going to do a, a very easy drawing. It's the background of Color It In and it's going to, hopefully you'll have some fun. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use a marker so you can see easier. Easier. You may go ahead and use a pencil. I'm going to start with my palm tree. Remember, there's lots of ways to make a palm tree, but this is one of the simplest way I know, so that's how I'll teach you. If you'd like to make it differently, you know you always can. All right, I'm gonna start right here with my first leaf. It's a slightly curved line to go up, and then I'm just gonna close it in with 
sideways use. And I'm not actually going to close it in, I'm just going to bring it back to the same height there. And I'm going to touch the first one, another slightly curved line out, upside down use to come back. I'm going to just continue this until I almost get an oval. I'm going to go for a whole circle of them. One more, I think. Actually, I'll leave that spot for the for the trunk. Now, remember, you can do a trunk any way you want. I just had some fun and did it with sideways V's. Same on this side. I didn't go all the way down to the edge. Now I get a couple of things of grass and then a slightly curved line to the edge. Remember I said over here we're just going to do a cityscape. Okay, So any cityscape you want Remember, buildings are all shapes and sizes. So first I'm going to start with a horizontal line. There goes my... Let adjust here. Okay. So I'm going to go up, vertical line, then go over, up, over, up. Is that any way you want to make some buildings? This one had a little needle on it, so it's an upside down V. Almost looks like a birthday cake. It's kind of fun. Okay. Let me keep going. All the way to the edge. Okay, not too important of, of how well you did on that, okay? Then, remember we wanted to talk about the background. We want lots of swirls. So we can actually start drawing some swirls, slightly curved line, All right? We've done swirls in our, or spirals in our shape, so it's pretty much the same. You want to come to about right there. Then you can leave it open or you can come back with it however you'd like. Sometimes it's fun to do a few different ways. So let's do this one where I'm going to close it in. All right. Okay. So any way you want to do, remember we want a nice wavy background like his starry night. Maybe some circles in here makes that easier for you to fill those in. Some more spirals. Just anything so you've got that nice flow that uh, Vincent van Gogh created. Now, once you've done with your sketch, anything to color it in. I'm just going to use crayons that I have at home. If you have... Um, Markers, you can use it. If you have oil pastels, you can use them. If you have colored pencils, anything. So remember, we want to kind of, let's do a darker color for you guys so you can see it better. Um, we want to just make everything in little bitty lines, almost little bitty curve lines too. I'm going to start over here. I'm just going to put in some of my color. I'm working quickly, guys. You can take your time a little bit more. So I just want to do that little section so you can see. So I've got some of my lines, and I'm going to come in with another color, remember? And in between all those little places I left white, and there goes my easel. 
fix that. <laughs> See, once you get this all filled in, it's going to take a little time, boys and girls. Remember, and it's worth it. Because it'll look really nice when you're all done. So remember, this is a night scene. So these circles can be stars, right? So they can be yellow. So I'm going to put my little yellow marks in there. Then I'm going to come back with another color, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see it, right? In that little swirly section. All right, boys and girls, I don't want to take up too much of your time with coloring it in. I know you understand what I mean. We're going for a certain effect. So you're not coloring. I don't really want you to be coloring. It's little bitty marks I want you to do. Little bitty marks, more like impressionistic work, okay? Where when you see it from afar, it all comes together into one color. But you're not gonna blend today. You're just gonna do little bitty strokes. Boys and girls, I hope that was fun drawing with me today. I miss you guys. I can't wait to see you. And I hope you're staying safe. See you soon.